Welcome back to the Torque Test Channel. Happy to be able to bring you some new impact driver additions on the ring chart today. We've been asked and we want to know, does more expensive mean more better when it comes to impact driver performance, or at least specifically when it comes to that torque output? We're going to find out on the dyno by sort of checking all those boxes when it comes to price range and advertised torque on these three red drivers. Starting off with this Bauer from Harbor Freight, which sells for a cool $40. That's not like $40 on sale or $40 with a coupon, that's just 40 bucks. Being a Bauer tool, that means that it is sporting a brushed motor, of course, and that does account for some extra length, to say the least. The M18 is already a very snub-nosed tool, but this Bauer is just over six inches long. It isn't chunky, sort of, but it is much longer, and it's not going to fit in all the spaces that the M18 will. With that extra length, you'd expect an extra serving of beans as well, and while the M18 is advertising an impressive 2,000 inch-pounds or 167 foot-pounds, the Bauer is only claiming... 1300 or 108 foot pounds. That's the lowest we've tested so far, lower than any of the Bosch freaks, and most of them, well, yeah, had some struggles. But those early freaks certainly didn't meet their torque claims. If the Bauer is able to today, it should come out ahead of those. In order to attempt that, it will be sporting a 5 amp hour battery pack, which is the largest Bauer makes, and they do recommend a 3.0 and higher, which also matches the XC 5.0 and the Milwaukee we'll be using today. The next impact driver testing the theory of more money being more better is the Craftsman V20 model CMC F820B. This is brushless like the Milwaukee, and it is the $100 model from Lowe's, not to be confused with the otherwise pretty much identical $80 CMC F810B, which advertises a bit lower torque spec and appears not to be assembled in the USA like the one we purchased. And we purchased this one for about $90 instead of $100, which is what we found it for. This USA slash global materials model claims 1,700 inch-pounds, a nice midway point between the specs of the Bauer and M18 today, we think. And with the Bauer being $40, us paying $90 for this one, and the M18 often going between $125 and 130 it's about as close as you can get to three steps of impact driver that we could find. This V20 Craftsman is also 5.5 inches long, so just 1 inch longer than that M18, so sort of midway in size as well. We've had a lot of luck with Craftsman Impacts over at the TTC shop. The last one we showed on this channel appears to perform like a DeWalt mid-torque in red clothing for less coin, and we've seen some more supporting evidence recently with purchases that this trend is continuing. So is this just something like a DCF 809B in a different color? We don't know yet for sure, but what we can tell you is how many beans it puts down. Let's head over to the dyno for our first test of three called Working Torque, five seconds and forward, and a treat for you on the impact driver episodes is usually how these perform in this test. You'll see what we mean with this first tool coming up, the 167 foot pound rated M18 2853-20. Exactly 167 foot pounds. I'm not saying this is how they rate their tools using this exact sort of test, but we've seen a lot of drivers match their claims on this very test. So here's the craftsman's opportunity to hit its claimed 142. One hundred and fifteen. So yeah, certainly not yet. Next up is the forty dollar bower. To match its claim, it would need to only see one hundred and eight here. One hundred and twenty-two, not only besting its torque claim, but surpassing the craftsman in the process. And that's from a brushed motor as well as you can see from the fireworks show she puts on. Certainly benefiting from that extra length so far. Let's check out reverse torque. This is called max torque 10 seconds in that reverse direction. And here's the craftsman up against the M18. 
125 foot-pounds, both tools leveling off quite a bit at the end, but the V20 reaching that ceiling later and with less beans. Maybe the Bauer can shake things up. Let's see that. One hundred and sixty, and pretty close to even the Milwaukee now. Certainly packaging a lot of heat for a forty-dollar tool so far. The last chance for the Craftsman to see its claimed one hundred and forty-two is max forward torque. Still ten seconds. Maybe using this tool in that direction that you're normally using an impact driver will help make up the difference. One hundred and thirty six foot pounds, an improvement for sure, but not quite getting there today. Now for the Bauer, basically just earning extra credit at this point. One hundred and sixty six, a good effort. We didn't expect either of these to reach up near the Milwaukee, obviously, but if we had to pick one at the beginning, it would have been the brushless V20 Craftsman for sure. I mean, $40 is what you expect to pay for a no-name Amazon brand that you don't really expect much from, right? Definitely not what we're used to seeing from Bauer. I think our rank charter might agree as well. Let's take a look. Their power runs are divided by five here, unlike impact wrenches, since differences between tools are much smaller. That's 23, 25, and 27 for the Craftsman, and 24, 32, and 33 for the Bauer. The Craftsman is shorter for sure, but also made less beans. It gets 24.7 foot-pounds per inch, and the Bauer gets 26 even. The Craftsman joins the few drivers who weren't able to reach their torque claims. Seems to be a different outfit working on the drivers than their impact wrenches, but still close. 96% or 96 points, and the max of 100 for the Bauer. Power per dollar, it's going to be hard for anyone to beat the Bauer here. That's 12.1 for the V20 and 33 2 for the Harbor Freight. That total is 207.8 and 248.2. The Bauer barely sneaking under that powerful but pricey Japanese Makita and the Craftsman sneaking in between the lower end freaks. Not super impressive group of tools you want to be grouped with. Pretty surprising results today, I'll be honest. We've not run into a brushed Harbor Freight tool we would have recommended yet until this one. For 40 bucks, or heck, even $65 for a kit with a battery and charger, that seems like a steal. If you need really an impact driver at all or want to give a gift of an impact driver to someone who doesn't have one, sure seems like this one would get the job done. The Craftsman, though, gotta say we had our chips in that corner until the dyno proves us wrong, as usual on this show. This is their higher dollar driver, and this is one you might have to skip as well. And if this is just a DeWalt in red clothing, that's not saying a lot for the old Bumblebee brand. If space and fitting this tool into small drawers and under sinks is the goal, we think that the Milwaukee is still hard to beat. But outside of that, general word working and some large lag bolts, the Bauer might be worth a look. I can't believe I'm saying that right now. Thanks for joining us. We'll be adding more impact drivers to the list, I'm sure, as time goes on. Recommend your favorite in the comments below. And thank you for watching.